Hi, this is Paul Girada from Catalyst Resources. In this video, we want to discuss the value and specifics of taking a modular approach to designing your next SaaS application. Over the past 20 years, we have found that when organizations embark on what I'll call an application design journey, they are normally looking at one of three different issues. One is they have a new product or release that they need to get to market, typically sooner than later. Second thing is their UI has become outdated. It doesn't have the functionality they need. And the feedback that they get is it's outdated. And the third thing, in some cases, they actually get to the point where they're losing business because of the user interface. What we found on working over 450 software applications is that if you take a modular approach to designing and developing the UI, you can deliver more functionality faster. If you're delivering it faster, obviously it means you have less involved investment in development and you get to market faster. Consequently, it's cheaper. In the next couple minutes, we're going to talk about the six steps that you could take to design your next SaaS application using a modular UI design approach. The first step is you have to understand your users and you have to involve them and validate your, your design every step of the way. Second step is you need to honestly evaluate what you currently have in your proposed functionality. You need to compare it to competitors, you need to compare it to alternatives other than your competitors that your customers might consider. And you need to compare it to what your customers would perceive as a best of breed example of software that they may be using may be totally different than your software. The next step is you need to identify the areas of concentrated work along what we call the tracer bullet path. Now the tracer bullet path is where 80% of the users spend 80% of their time. An area of concentrated work, as an example, in a home, a kitchen would be an area of concentrated work. In most key pieces of key pieces of software, there are three to nine areas of concentrated work, a surprisingly small number that make up the bulk of where people spend their time. Now, let me show you an example, and we'll talk about this four step where you want to design the work areas based on reusable views and panels. This is a SaaS application. It's used to track drug trials across the globe. When we designed it, we organized it around four areas of concentrated work, a search area, a visual analysis area, a list area, and finally you got down to the details of a particular drug trial. Each view was designed based on a set of reusable panels. Now let me show you how that comes together. Here is the work area around visualization. In each area outlined in orange is a panel. Each panel is developed using commercial UI controls. If you're using commercial UI controls, you gain three significant advantages. One is it, they provide you with cross-browser support so that your organization doesn't have to do that. The second thing is it gives you access to being able to use the same UI across multiple types of delivery devices, desktops, laptops, tablet devices, smartphones. And the third thing is commercial UI controls are constantly trying to improve their product. And every six months or so, you'll get, see improvements in the controls. So you might have something like in this uh, charting, like in this lower panel here, every six months or so, there's an improvement in that charting that you can drop into your application, which means by using the commercial UI controls, you've hitched yourself to a path of constantly adding increased functionality. The last step is to organize it around code so it's structured to be reusable. On the left-hand side, the boxes in green are a checklist of 12 different things that need to be addressed when you think about doing that. And in the middle is what's on the client side, and on the right-hand side is what's on the server side. Now, if you take that panel in the middle, which is drug trials by country, it is designed using a commercial UI control. It renders a certain way. It's got a certain set of behaviors. It works across browsers, across devices. That's reusable. It is fed by a data model that exists in the client. That's all the data that's necessary to quote unquote light that up. That data model gets its data from a data service, which goes back to a data business object and gets the information that's necessary. Now, most of the data business objects will have much more data than what's needed for that panel alone. So there will be data transformations there in the middle that are used to just 
provide the data that's essential for lighting up that panel. If there's information that's input, there will be business validations. The important thing to realize is that everything you see in orange and that whole path from that map panel back is all reusable. Once you do it one time, you can use it over and over again. You can use it in the same application. You could use it across multiple applications. You could start to see how you're able to deliver greater functionality in less time. If you want to discuss how you could take a modular approach to your next product or release, feel free to give us a call.